Hi guys, so I was going to include the footage of uh, Alex Jones calling Mueller names and saying that he was covering up for Epstein, that he's a pedophile in, by something like that. Okay, he threatened Mueller and said that that he's going to take him down because he's a, Mueller is a demon, quote unquote. He said Mueller is a monster and all that. So that's standard fare for um, Infowars, but the part that I'm intrigued by, knowing that you know the what the far right does is they accuse others of things they do themselves, right? That's one of the tenets of uh, Goebbels, right? The Nazi propaganda. That's one thing they do. I'm wondering, guys, does he know something about the tape? And the connection between Trump and Epstein this is going to come out in the Mueller investigation soon, because when they do these things, I've noticed within the propaganda, when something's coming out that is negative, well then, they transfer the thing to the other person. So it seems, and and many people have asked actually about this. I don't know that I've ever done. You know the whole thing with the Pizzagate. Maybe it's like those kinds of things, those pedophile networks actually may exist. For us, it sounds crazy, like are they insane? But it's like, it's in preparation for this stuff coming out, they already bring this up. And this is what I'm thinking. Does he know something that we don't know about Epstein and Trump? Come, is this gonna come out and what is it gonna come out? And then two, has he, does he know, I think he said before that he was subpoenaed, and I've said before guys, in a reading I did about Infowars that he's involved in A, money laundering, and B, what is it, the other thing? Money laundering because of the, you know, the, those, uh, you know, he has a business of vitamins or something, but it's all facade. And and the receiving of propaganda and acting as a foreign agent, those things. Okay, so let's find out here. Okay. So why is, why is, uh, and why is Alex Jones using this language against Mueller. What is the purpose of this? Oh, it's like, it's showing that he, it's showing he got a note, like a piece of paper, you know, a little bit like a fortune cookie, a Chinese fortune cookie, kind of like a piece of paper folded like that. And it said, this is the time to up the attacks on Mueller because the stuff's coming out, like incredible stuff is coming out. And we have to prepare the base, quote unquote. From, this is from Russia, okay? Target him, attack him, try to discredit him, try to say that he's, quote unquote, the devil. Because that's how, right? This is, it seems that they know that their main, the fear mongering targets the uh, evangelicals, which is the core of the base. And they want him to be, they want them to be afraid and to challenge Mueller, to not believe stuff that Mueller says, okay? So. So has he been, in, I mean, sub, subpoena, has he been subpoenaed? Yes, multiple times, his businesses, his personal stuff, a while, four months ago or something. What else has happened since? No, he's, he's given all the information, but Mueller has intercepted all that. Knows, Mueller seems to know everything about the whole propaganda network and receiving the the Russian stuff and he picked up stuff from several Russian embassies related to Infowars okay okay so is he scared I mean I, I'm, I'm just thinking to myself knowing how the, the amount of liabilities he has is he scared at all I mean is this the last resort or is this sort of, he, he reminds me a little bit of a Carter Page, the kind of person who doesn't care. It's like he doesn't care about going to prison for decades or something. It's like he keeps doing it. Yeah, he feels like he loves his brand. He loves the entertainment. He loves what he has now. He's willing to risk it because he's so popular. I mean, he hasn't seen it. It's, it's showing a lot of these people are privileged in some way, right? They've never been on the wrong side of things. Not, you know what I mean? In the, the sense that they could really go to hardcore jail and go to federal police. Oh, doesn't care. So he has given, he has given incomplete information to the feds. They have everything, all kinds of, they have recordings. They have recordings of Russians discussing him or how to use the channel. Okay. They have recordings. They have, what else do they have? Banking information. 
they have they understand some of it there's like foreign accounts depositing money they have even recordings of him receiving cash there's like all kinds of of evidence he only he gave them like a three percent of what they know okay so so there i think they they haven't they haven't done much else to suggest anything else to him and uh and i think it's showing here no it's not personal in the sense that i think he's doing it out of him being threatened personally is that he was he was told that this is what's going to happen this week okay so now the next question is the next question is what's the deal with epstein do they know something's going to come out about epstein and trump what is this thing that he's protecting epstein guys it's kind of amazing i don't know if it's true because it's like kind of exciting actually it's showing that soon the justice department will will uh, make public indictments of uh, people related to prostitution you know the thing that we saw the thing in miami that i said it's not related to to Roger Stone, but it's like related to the main organization, probably like Russian, uh, what is it called, mob or something. But they're going to lift the veil on all of this, how this has worked. Okay, and I think, I could be wrong, but it's showing here, they're going to show how, how, how it has worked. And one of the two people that are named in this lawsuit are going to be named by Mueller as well. And they're somehow connected to Trump. And this, I've said this before, guys between the lines, I guess, okay, that um, the thing about the sex trafficking, whatever, human trafficking, is that when people ask, oh, is, so is Trump involved in this thing? Does he have something? I think yes and no, okay, and, and the yes is that if, he, if he's in, embroiled and connected to this Russian mob thing, that's what it looks like, right, then in some ways he, he has done those kinds of things in a way or another. He knows about it because that's part of their business you know that's part of the uh, conglomerate right i think the mafia does all these like shady things like human trafficking drugs and i don't know you know all this stuff so human trafficking that leads to prostitution all all these like shady things okay so yes so i think it's possible indeed that they're in preparation for stuff coming out that's going to make the russians look really bad russians may not not regular Russian people, but those people, you know, involved in, in all those things, then I think in preparation for that, they want to scapegoat the op the opposite direction. So, so that's that. So, will, and someone else, I was reading an article here, I think I'm going to link here, it's actually on the hill, the hill is not, doesn't matter, but anyway, so it's showing, it's saying here that by threatening Mueller, he could get five or ten years in prison. That's the the just for 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 threatening a federal official. Five to ten years in prison. So is he gonna be? Because I know he has all kinds of other crimes. Is he gonna be? Is he gonna be charged with that? Is what's gonna add to that? That's not the case. You know, they, that's not the core of the case. Obviously, they're saying they already have a case against. It. It has nothing to do with what he said or didn't say about Mueller. I don't think so, guys. I don't think that it, I don't think that Mueller is going to, no, he's not going to bring that into it because it, there, it's not necessary, okay? It's, there's enough information here. So, so that's that. Very interesting, okay. So, how close are we, I don't know if I'm going to have an information about timelines, but how close are we to an indictment of, of, um, Alex Jones is being public. When was this going to come out? It's showing that the indictments related to propaganda are going to come out kind of in a, in a cluster together and not now, not yet. Okay. Towards the end. Okay, it's going to show, you know, it's going to indict, first they're going to indict, I think it's shown here the technique of, of Mueller, which is indict the Russians first, and then all the people connect, connect the Americans to them. Okay, so, 
So this is interesting. So I think three, four weeks ago would be the end of August, I guess. Okay. I don't know, but guys, please take timing with a grain of salt. But it's showing, you know, so many people have asked in my private, and I haven't made it public on YouTube yet, but the thing about the Fox News and stuff. So this is very interesting, guys. So, so yeah, it's showing that... Um, that it's going to be, you know, at once. Anyway, what, I, what I'm sorry, I got distracted. What I mean to say by this is that once this, the indictments, the propaganda network is law, it's not just Fox, it's several and includes Infowars. So the case has to be made of them collectively. Okay, so this is why those things are going to come out together and, and so forth. Okay, so they are going to be indicted i think partially indicted for propaganda but how they're really going to get them is financially okay because it's showing and i saw oh guys by the way there was some there was some news on the on twitter somebody follows like um you know the department of justice southern district of new york just indicted people for again the same thing with prostitution money laundering this people are russian but it showed that um apparently up to 20 years in prison for money laundering. can you imagine 20 years in prison for money laundering? hello hello Hello, okay, these people, and Trump people. Hello, all these people, right? So, so I don't think it's, it's, um, it's not. I feel like, like I said, the money really is is really the core of it, of the core of how they're gonna really nail their cases down. They're gonna show that they've done propaganda and everything, but really, what, what, what seals the deal here is the money laundering. Okay, so, so that's that. Okay, guys, I. I'm going to stop here, okay?